welcome back to my channel it's joe and osis if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and if you are a return subscriber hey i'm back with another video so today's video is 21 things i learned at 21 um i just turned 21 yay yay so this is gonna be my background for the rest of my videos now. <laughs> This was, I don't know, my birthday was awesome. I'm gonna show you the side that's all nice. <laughs> let's turn, let's turn. Wow! It's delicious. Okay, so now that I've almost eaten up the whole of my cake, um, we're gonna start this video. So I just celebrated my 21st birthday on the 30th of November, which was Saturday, but Friday night I had a little party thingy, hence the whole backdrop that I don't know what to do with now, because I can keep it all, um, I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to come here and do this video because I actually wanted to do this video last year, but I was like, nah, 21 is like a, definite age and it's just i don't know 21 is like you know you're now an adult <laughs> and even though i don't feel like one and there's so many things you learn through the path of becoming 21 there are more things that i've learned that i did not put it down obviously so i just chose like 21 things and i also know that there is so much more to learn i just want to make a disclaimer that these are all mine this is me you might not agree with me but this is me this is the things that i went through and these are the things that i've learned give this video a thumbs up just because i celebrated my birthday and that would be awesome and subscribe to my channel because that's my birthday wish so <laughs> yeah so let's let's go so the first thing i have is don't be too hard on yourself i think this is something that i always do i'm always hard on myself i always judge myself and i always overthink things like i'm just always hard on myself as you're being hard on yourself you miss out on greater opportunities you miss out on things that would have benefited you in many many different ways and honestly it's not that serious like some things are just not that serious that I overthink and I'm too hard on myself and I'm too like Oh Dorothy, oh I don't think you can do this, I don't think you can do that, I don't think you should do this, I don't know Like I'm just most of the time hard on myself and honestly it's not worth it So coming to Ukraine, it taught me a lot of adaptation I had to change the way I do certain things So one thing that I learned during that time was that if I don't like something and I can change it I should change it so if you don't like something and you can change it change it but if you cannot change it like if you have no control over it you need to change the way you view it that's what I learned then I need to change the way I view that certain thing and that way you'll be happier and you can move on from whatever is bothering you or whatever you don't like you know some people are stuck at things that they don't like and you're just like so why don't you change it and they're like i can't change it like change the way you view the thing if you want something go get it simple as that if you want it go get it honestly again don't overthink it don't be double-minded and you know think about things too much and all that stuff only you know why you want that thing and you know how it's going to benefit you so if you want something go get it push 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 go get it oh i didn't want to start so early with this one it looked so nice <laughs> on my um notes that i made but um it's too soon but people are fake I, I i there's not much i can say about that but people are fake and that's a fact and run away from those fake people because they're toxic really toxic sometimes you don't always have to react to what people say like you don't always have to have a reaction or you know have an opinion or have some type of a response to what people say sometimes it's not worth it and sometimes they don't deserve it so like that way you don't waste your breath <laughs> you stay out of drama and unnecessary drama and you just keep your cool and you're there yeah. people make mistakes you can make mistakes i make mistakes and i don't think you should be too hard on yourself like i support making mistakes while you're young so that you get experience and you learn from it and then you don't do it once you're older because 
you're expected to do so much more when you're older like imagine somebody does a stupid mistake who would you get more annoyed over someone that's young or someone that's older obviously someone that's older because you'd be like dude you're old like how can you be so stupid you know so i say make as much mistakes as you can not on purpose like oh i'm gonna burn myself oh mistake <laughs> no <laughs> no you know go through the most as you can but be careful it doesn't mean that w once you make mistakes you should be doing mistakes and you know always be failing and all that stuff and always doing wrong decisions and all that stuff no 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 i'm saying that when you make a mistake it's not over you can bounce back from it you can still move on from it once you learn not to do it again now this one i don't know how you guys are going to understand me but <clears throat> this is for me when I was younger, I thought I needed people around me. I thought I needed friends. I thought I needed, I thought I needed like relationships and stuff like that. But you do not need friends. You don't need 50,000 friends. You don't need them. The more friends you have, the more problems it causes. And oh, you're just gonna drown yourself in, I don't know. You go get that one or two people who are for you and you know, you guys exchanged all the love and the support and the loyalties and all that stuff. You guys have a healthy relationship. Yeah, you can have those people, you know. You don't need friends, man. Whoever is pressuring you into saying that you really need friends and the only way you go forward in life is if you have friends and all that stuff. No, you don't need friends because for me personally, the more friends you have, the more problems you have. No friends though. But it's true. The respect starts within. Um, there are lots of people in this world that demand respect at other people, but they don't show themselves respect. They don't show anybody respect, but they demand respect because they feel like they reach a level of success where they expect respect to come to them. I don't know how to say it, but I just find it hypocritical for people to be like that. Like respect starts with yourself if you don't have respect for yourself i'm saying respect because i'm so annoyed <laughs> but if you don't have respect for yourself how do you expect other people to have respect for you how do you expect you to even respect others you see this one is a proven fact you guys probably know it if you don't know it listen to me if people come and gossip to you about others they might be doing the same to you gossiping to others about you <laughs> if i am sophia and sophia goes to daniel and sophia gossips about martha to daniel sophia might be gossiping to martha about daniel also <sighs> yeah it's true i think gossiping is an addiction <laughs> you find people who just love to talk bad about others and they just find pleasure in it and there's more to friendships than just gossiping and stuff like that so if you find yourself always talking to a person and that person always talks about others gossiping about others just know that they might be doing the same they might be talking trash about you and stuff like that and you can't trust those people now, that's one i wish i could tell every single person i mean i'm telling you guys watching me but for me i'm like the good you do has rewards and the bad you do has consequences people don't believe this man and i'm like how do you how do you not believe this the good you do will have rewards you will get rewards for the good you do and there are consequences for the bad you do you think you're doing this bad thing just because and you think nothing will happen to you no i believe in god i believe the word of god and whatever the word of god says is true the word is true if you guys do bad things there will be consequences so not to curse you or whatsoever it's a fact and the good you do right now you might not see it you might not get the reward right away but i'm 100 percent sure that God is our father and he sees everything you do. So do good and you will get rewarded. Do bad and there are consequences you might have to pay for. Oh, this one, this one, you guys, this one. This one is so powerful. The minute you stop doubting yourself, you are unstoppable. Oh, well, the minute you stop believing yourself, 
you are gonna prosper in life. I learned that starting a business is hard. It's so hard. Um, I have a small business with my friend on Instagram and we just sell jewelry. If you guys want to check it out, link will be floating somewhere here. So. Starting a business is actually hard. It does make it easier because my friend and I are in it together. And it's just so hard because we have school to focus on. And then we also have business to focus on. And then I also have YouTube to focus on. It's, it's, it's honestly something to juggle. And I'm still adjusting to it. And I'm still like, you know, trying to maintain everything. Try to put in 100% in each section. So it's, it's a bit tough. But I like the whole... I like that whole excitement or that whole being busy feel i don't know it's just so weird but i like i like it i like having three four different things i like multitasking that's what i'm trying to say being like different is good being different is also good this is just like a crazy example but i just want to tell you guys i love rock music you all know that i love rock music if you don't i love rock music um when i was younger i was kind of like shy to say that i like rock music i was kind of like embarrassed about something that i like weird right so <clears throat> everyone would just be listening to their house music and house music was literally the only popular thing in namibia during that time <laughs> when i was young so i would be so embarrassed and i would feel so left out and I would just like fake it and be like, oh, I like the song. I like the song and stuff like that. But honestly, I was cheating myself because I was supposed to believe in myself that rock music is the bomb.com. And who would have known I was going to go to Ukraine where they listen to rock music. People would also come to me like, what kind of music is that? Ooh, they sound nice. What do you listen to and stuff like that? I would just be like, sorry, I want to listen to it. I'm just i would just like not play it around them and stuff like that but being different is good man whatever you like whatever your interests are as long as it helps you as long as it benefits you as long as it makes you feel good like my rock music dude it helped me it was like therapy i know you guys might not understand but i'm telling you it's therapy <laughs> if, if there are people out there who really don't believe in this prayer works prayer helps prayer is medicine for everything and anything we should keep on praying praying for our families praying for our uh, partners praying for our children praying for praying for everyone like we should keep on prayer is showing god that, that you still acknowledge that he is god and you still believe that you know god is our blesser he's our deliverer he's our savior so whatever we need on this earth can only be found in christ and just to acknowledge it just to show god that you know that you know so keep on praying guys prayer works i'm telling you prayer works 100 percent you can pray for anything any work it's just a matter of having faith and patience make sure your words count and not the words of other people dude people will come to you and they'll tell you you can't do this girl you went through this oh my gosh i don't think you should do this or oh my gosh i've been there and it's so hard i don't think you can do this i don't know one thing was also doing youtube videos like people would be like youtube is just for outspoken people youtube is not for shy people youtube is not for what what and that's that and i'm just like dude they're lying to you you're not even talking to people you're talking to your camera they're lying to you you know so make sure your words are the only ones that count make sure whatever you tell yourself is the only one that counts words are powerful wow, what is what is the bible say a tongue is like a knife you know it can slice you you know so people can even disable you with just words they can tell you no because you're um because you're five years old you cannot make music i'm serious though. <laughs> you know people can disable you and then the minute you take in whatever people say it's done don't listen to people make sure your words is the only word that counts whatever you say goes this is your life. Whatever blessings you say upon your life is gonna happen. One thing you guys should realize is when you allow God 
first like if you bless upon your life if you say you're gonna achieve something or you want this and then you place god with that nobody can take it away from you you know why because you place the father on it nobody can touch the father <sighs> this one guy friends are better than girlfriends guys when i tell you i never maybe one but i never had drama with girls when i was younger never never like drama like drama drama guys just don't give you drama man girls just bring problems not to be rude but it's what i learned so i just prefer guy friends over girlfriends so yeah there's not much to say about that this is now very um personal should i say not everyone will support you and i'm only saying this because yeah you don't really expect outsiders to support what you do you expect your family members your friends your closest people your aunts and uncles you know to support what you do but not all of them will support what you do <sighs> for example my youtube channel this is obviously something that i'm putting my work in this is obviously something that i want to do the fact that i'm still creating videos you know but not everyone will share for you not everyone will like your videos not everyone will help you you know especially youtube youtube you not that you need but like it's a very 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 great benefit if people are helping you if people are behind you i know some people do it without but i'm just saying it's a great benefit if people like your family members can help you i'm not saying my family members are not supporting me they are like my number one supporters but like i said friends and all that stuff okay so <clears throat> what you need to do from there on words is focus on the people who are actually supporting you even though they're strangers put your love and your engagement with the people who are actually supporting you and stuff like that. and do not focus on the ones who are just being stuck up and they don't want to help you they will need you also they probably don't understand how, what it takes you know to have a business or to have a youtube channel that you want to grow and all that stuff but no hard feelings you decided on what you want to do and no problem okay see ya and to follow up with that do not depend on people people can fail you and it's just the natural act of a human you're not perfect so i can fail you i can disappoint you i can harm you without even knowing you know people are just not the ones you should depend on people are just not things you should rely on things you should um <clears throat> follow thing you can follow is god he's the only one that has good intentions for you 100 percent. he's the only one that knows what you want 100 percent. he's the only one that has your identity or knows your identity 100 percent. he's the only one that gives you 100 percent. he's the only one that blesses you 100 percent. he's he's for you 100 percent. and god is the only one you guys should rely on god is the only one you should follow on god is the only one you should depend on he knows exactly what you need and he's gonna give you sufficient sufficient love joy happiness peace everything that you want he has it for you oh my goodness this one is for me this is just for me this is oh it comes with overthinking and sometimes everything is in your head <laughs> This is a beanie, but my head is under. Sometimes it's just you thinking about it too much. Maybe it's not like that. Dude, I always, I always overthink and I always sit down and I'm like, maybe I'm like, I don't know. With all this whole negative um, atmosphere that you enter, for example, fake friends or the stuff that I mentioned earlier, you know, fake friends and girls like drama. Just like with all this negative thing, um, I learned that it helps when you focus on the ones that love you, when you focus on your friends and family members and just the people that are around you. If you focus on those people, you'll realize that you will feel so much happier and there'll, there'll just be a lot of weight that's lifted off of your shoulder and you'll just feel so um, driven, you know, you just want to keep on going. Just 
if there's nobody that loves you pray <laughs> because our father in heaven loves us so dearly his love is even more than the love of a whole family you know and the last thing i i didn't get to the last one but i'm just gonna say medical school is hard <laughs> medical school is so hard you guys oh my goodness that's something i learned yeah medical school is hard man and i respect i respect all doctors dentists e everyone i respect y'all so medical school is hard <sighs> today but anyway that's it for today's video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys finish i hope you guys stay till here and i just want to tell you guys to just take a deep breath and just calm down and i always like try to rush things and stuff like just focus on yourself focus on what you want focus on god and you know your life will be sorted but thank you so much for watching this video i hope honestly hope you guys learned something but now that i'm an adult I have so much responsibilities that I need to go to right now and I just want to leave you guys with that and I love you guys so much and thank you for watching this video I need to I need to wash my dogs now and I need to get my car and I need to pick up my kids and I'm 21 I'm an adult now <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you guys have an awesome gorgeous wonderful day